The Holy Father also attended the closing of the World Meeting of Families in Rome over the weekend. And the final event, he called on participants to, quote, announce the beauty of being family with joy. The Holy Father's request marked the end of the five-day global gathering that included plenty of highlights and events, the World Meeting of Families. The next one is set to be held in 2028. Joining us now from Rome is Father Thomas Petrie, president of the Dominican House of Studies. Father Petrie, great to see you. Um, a lot to get to regarding the World Meeting of Families. But first, uh, the decision to overturn Roe versus Wade came down in the United States, as you know, on Friday. I'm curious, what was your reaction when you heard the news? Well, when the decision came out, we were preparing to go live anyway, and it was a lot. It was a frantic rush. We were rushing to see exactly what the decision was to make sure it was the same as the leaked draft, and it was. There was a lot of excitement uh, on the set. It was including both not only from us but also from EWTN Spanish. Uh, Bishop Donald Hine from the Diocese of Madison, Wisconsin, told us later that all the families of the World Meeting of Families were in a panel session, and he could see through the room, people were starting to breathe a sigh of relief and to weep and to uh, be expressions of joy. And then he pulled out his cell phone and saw the news that, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court had overturned Roe and Casey. Yeah, what an incredible day. Uh, now I want to get to the World Meeting of Families uh, while you're in Rome. Tell us about maybe what were some of the highlights and particularly highlights for you. Well, I was very edified by the World Meeting of Families. I didn't quite know what to expect when we came, especially after seeing the World Meeting of Families in, in Dublin some years ago. But I have to say, all the families, uh, every talk, there was really, Matthew Bunsen used the word, searing personal vulnerability. But every family made clear that the only way to get through all of the messiness and struggles that every family goes through is by clinging to the grace of Jesus Christ, staying close to the Church's sacraments, and knowing and living the teachings of the church. It was really quite a, a phenomenal experience. Yeah, and I'm curious about this, too. What did the Holy Father mean uh, when he asked Catholic families yesterday to be missionaries in the world? Can you explain that to us? Sure. The Holy Father, throughout the uh, World Meeting of Families, kept emphasizing this, that the family has to have an interior dynamism, an interior dynamic of dialogue and communication and selfless love. But at the same time, they also be, have to be odd extra, moving outward in mission as a family and witnessing not only their love, but God's fidelity, their giving to one another, the, the bridging of the generations, so that the family becomes a model of virtue and of love and of charity. To, to the world. This is the family's mission, and he asked every family to hear that mission and to hear what the Lord was asking them to do. Yeah, and before I let you go, wondering any final thoughts, and also was there anything that maybe surprised you about the World Meeting of Families this week? Well, I think just what I said at the top on this, uh, just how personal many of the families that were chosen to speak to the World Meeting of Families. You know, we had stories of infidelity, stories of real loss, of real death, of children in families, and the courage that it took those families to speak about those things, which I'm sure was also healing for them, but that they've been able to come through some real tragedies with grace and forgiveness. It's really remarkable. Every, everyone, really remarkable, everyone throughout the world is really trying to live uh, the best families they can, as the best families they can, according to, with grace, the sacraments and the teaching of the church. Oh, Father Petrie, thank you so much for your time today and your wonderful coverage this week. We appreciate it. God bless you.